good morning. God bless you. This is the Wednesday morning devotional. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for this morning. I pray that you would bless each person watching this video or that you would bring encouragement in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Well, I wanted to read a passage of scripture from Psalm 27, and I named this devotional, devotional Waiting for the Lord. And in Psalm 27 and verse 11, it says, Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a level path because of my foes. Do not deliver me over to the desire of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have despaired unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord. And I love this passage of scripture because it describes um, the feeling that the writer is going through, and yet he has a prescription. And if you read the whole psalm, it talks about singing praises to God and so forth. And the truth is, is that the enemy of our soul wants us to despair, wants us to be depressed, wants us to slip into uh, a thought process or an emotional state where we no longer see the goodness of God. We no longer have hope for the future. But we also have an answer for that, and that's to wait upon the Lord or to wait for the Lord. And what does that look like, the waiting for the Lord? It, it's about go, going to, into a place by faith, in, in prayer, in your quiet time, in the secret place with God, and just simply waiting for Him, for His presence, for His renewal, for His Spirit to come and bring comfort to us in distress, to bring a renewed sense of hope, to bring vision when the, the way seems dark and when things seem cloudy. And this is a, a, the lifestyle of the believer in tough times or in times of trouble, in times uh, when bad news comes or when seasons shift, in times when uh, we're going through some things. Because Jesus said, right, in this world you'll have trouble, but have cheer because I've overcome the world. Do not be afraid because I've overcome the world. And so trouble may come. But we have an answer in our relationship with Jesus Christ. And through the power of the Holy Spirit that's in us and who has sent, been sent to give us comfort and to speak to our hearts. And so, but we have to come to a place where we have a maturity in our relationship with God, where even though we don't feel something, or maybe we feel the opposite, we feel uh, sad or upset or angry or whatever these uh, feelings may be, we have maturity to walk past those things and enter into the secret place, enter into our prayer closet, enter into a place of the Lord where we're able to call upon His name and to simply wait for Him. Wait for Him in the place of, of trouble. Wait for Him in the place of maybe some inner turmoil. Wait for him in the place of a troubled heart and allow him to bring the comfort that only he can bring. And instead of using uh, cheap substitutes, whether that's es escapism or whatever, but we have to come to a place of maturity in, in Christ where we're able to go to that place and receive the comfort that only Jesus can bring and move and walk in that and have our hope restored, our vision restored, and have new life so that we can walk in the freedom that God has granted us and that we have a promise to walk in. And so this morning, let's wait upon the Lord. Let's make a habit of waiting upon the Lord and uh, Let's begin to get to a place where we can walk past our own feelings or even past what we see into a place where we receive the vision and the hope 
that comes from Jesus Christ in all seasons and in all situations. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for this morning. I thank you, Lord, that as we wait for you, that you renew our strength, that you bring us comfort, that you bring us joy, that you we have a renewed sense of hope for the future. And Lord, I pray that uh, as each person looks to you, Father, that you would bring that by your Holy Spirit into their life. Now, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Oh,